In about an hour and a half, the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Boston Bruins are going to kick off the second round of the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs, so I wanted to give you guys this preview before the first game actually started, and then tomorrow, when the other two games are getting underway, I'm going to do the previews for them before they both start. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The Columbus Blue Jackets versus the Boston Bruins in the Eastern Conference Semifinal. So now looking at the offensive leaders for each team through one round of the playoffs, obviously Columbus did play three fewer games because they did sweep the Lightning and Boston took Toronto to seven games. So leading the way for Columbus, Matt Duchesne with three goals, assists, Matt Duchesne and Zach Wierenski both had four assists apiece and Matt Duchesne led the way in total points with seven in four games and that is why Columbus got Matt Duchesne. That is why they made all of those moves at the trade deadline to get a secondary star beside Artemi Panarin and I really like the moves that they made and obviously it's seeming like they already paid off considering they knocked off the President's Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning. Now looking at the Boston Bruins, Brad Marchand had a phenomenal seven game series he didn't play dirty while well, some stuff he did was questionable but he didn't get suspended for the most part he played a pretty clean game four goals five assists nine points for Brad Marchand in seven games a very very complete series for him and Columbus is definitely going to have to do a better job than Toronto did to neutralize Brad Marchand if they do want to have a chance to win this series now looking at the team stats for each team after round one, Columbus scored 4.75 goals per game in those four games against the Tampa Bay Lightning. That is probably going to come down because obviously it is a small sample size with them only playing four games, but that was first out of any team in the postseason in round one. So Columbus scoring at a pretty high clip coming into this game and only allowing two goals against per game, which was third out of any team. So right now it is looking like Columbus is the favorite if you just throw away everything that happened in the regular season. And that is kind of what I want to base this off of. I don't just want to go you know who is the higher seed and stuff like that who has home ice advantage I kind of want to go by who has actually been playing better so far throughout the playoffs and obviously Columbus has had a much longer break than the Boston Bruins had I think Boston only had about one day in between games or two days I believe and Columbus has a power play percentage of 50% first I, that is definitely going to come down in the series because I think it'll be longer than four games a penalty kill percentage of 83.3 which is fifth so Columbus looking at all those team stats very very impressive Boston scored 3.29 goals per game which was fifth out of any playoff team they allowed 2.43 against which was also fifth they had a power play percentage of 43.8 which was very very good for second and they had a penalty kill percentage of 81.3 which was seventh out of any playoff team so just looking at these overall numbers obviously you're going to give the edge to the columbus blue jackets but i definitely think a lot more goes into this than just looking at these stats and this playoffs have shown us that stats really don't mean anything and any team can beat any team on any night so it's definitely going to be a very very interesting series but without further ado let's get right into my prediction so my prediction i have the series going seven games but in the end i have the columbus blue jackets winning it but obviously as we've seen throughout these playoffs my predictions don't really mean anything considering i got every single one wrong in the first round but hopefully in the second round that can change a little bit and i'm very excited to do the two previews tomorrow to give you guys my thoughts on those series as well but the majority of my reasoning for columbus winning this is honestly just going by my gut because i feel like they're going to be that team this year to really go on that cinderella run and really kind of come out of nowhere but even in this series i wouldn't consider them underdogs because they literally just swept the 62 win tampa bay lightning and this is a team that made a lot of trades at the trade deadline and they're not just going to gel right away obviously after the deadline this team struggled a little bit but towards the end of the season they started to get it going and then obviously they were firing and clicking at all cylinders in the first round so in the end i have the columbus blue jackets winning in seven games i think sergey bobrovsky is a better goaltender than tuka rask and i think if the boston bruins top line has some struggle scoring or gets shut down in this series which is easier said than done I definitely think they're gonna have a very very tough time but I don't know my guts just tell me to go with the Columbus Blue Jackets and I definitely think it could go either way this is definitely going to be a very very evenly matched series I'm excited for the game to start tonight so I thought I'd get this out to you guys before the series started so that is my prediction the Columbus Blue Jackets in seven games so that is going to wrap up this video I really hope you guys did enjoy make sure to look out for the two series preview and predictions tomorrow and then the day after which would be Saturday I have a collab coming out with Andrew Pillicott hockey on the toronto maple leaf so a lot of stuff to look forward to on the channel and make sure you guys let me know your prediction for this series down in the comment section below and with that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily nhl content and i will see you guys all in the next video